Okay, so this is going to sound like the ramblings of a madman, but I, I need you to stay with me because I've had an epiphany, and this is either going to be genius or I'm going to, as I said, sound like a complete madman. So stay with me, okay? So I'm running the Kickstarter at the moment, and this video isn't to show that Kickstarter because you could be watching this video in you know, six, 12 months, five years' time, whatever. Um, but if you are watching it in the next 13 days, there's a link in the description where you back it if you want to. But um, it's going really, really well. And, you know, we hit target in the first three hours, which, uh, which is amazing so thank you to everyone that's backed it but it's continuing to grow now my target wasn't massive yet what i've been told from people that have run kickstarters in the past and from the research that i've done is when you get to the mid part of the campaign campaign tends to be a little bit stagnant but mine keeps going up a little bit you know something like three or four backers a day that kind of thing but it, it's creeping up now i'm thinking why is this happening and so i wanted to have a think about how this is happening then i realized something about the similarities between YouTube and Kickstarter. And what I mean by this is it doesn't matter what platform you are on, whether it's you know YouTube, Kickstarter, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, whatever. They're recommendation systems, okay? Um, we think we're being social. We think we're helping other people. But the aim of the companies that are running them are to keep you on the platforms for longer. And how do they do that? They do that by putting the right content in front of you, whether that be a tweet or a video or, you know, a post, anything like that. So how is this adaptable to Kickstarter? Now, when I started the campaign a couple of weeks ago, I applied a little bit of the YouTube logic that I use for this channel to it. So I had a couple of thumbnails that I had. So, you know, if one wasn't working so well, I'd use the other one. But because I hit target so early, that kind of didn't really help me. So what I wanted to look at is, is there a reason why my Kickstarter is continuing to grow? And you may be watching this thinking, well, Matt, you've got a YouTube channel, you know, you've got 2000 subscribers, you've got a couple of hundred people that watch the channel, that kind of thing. It's all coming from there. Or because you've got 4,000, you know, Twitter followers, it's all coming from there. But that's not the case. So what I mean by this is if you look at the screen at the moment, um, the great thing about the Kickstarter dashboard, and I love analytics, you know, whether it's YouTube or Kickstarter or Twitter, I'd love to find out how stuff works. But if you look at the screen at the moment, you'll see that actually only 22% of the pledges that I've got so far on the campaign have actually come from Twitter itself. And that's not disappointing because I'm grateful for every single person that's pledged. Thank you very much if you have. But again, that's still a small percentage because I've got... 4,000 followers on Twitter and only 71 pledges have come from there. They might not even be from my followers either. They might have been from people that have, may have seen a retweet or a like, that kind of thing that someone else has given me. Okay, so, but that's still 22%. So where has all this traffic come from? So looking at the dashboard within Kickstarter again, nearly 60% of the pledges that I've got have come from Kickstarter itself. Now, why? And how? And again, it dawned on me that Kickstarter is a recommendation system. And again, it's all about putting the right content in front of the right customer. But how does it do this? Because, you know, you put the campaign on there and it sits there. And as I said before, you know, people tend to go through that dead zone of a campaign where, you know, it shoots up at the beginning and then it kind of shoots up at the end, you know, because people were rushing to, you know, to help you get your Kickstarter fund or, you know, because they waited to the last minute to back. But there's usually like a dead area during the middle. But yet mine seems to creep up. And I think I've worked out why. Now, I'm probably teaching like a lot of you to suck eggs here, but I'm sure you know how this works. But the more interaction, you know, a tweet or a video gets with the viewers that are watching it or your community, the more that recommendation system is going to push it out. Whether, again, that's on YouTube or LinkedIn or Instagram or wherever or Twitter, doesn't matter. So if we look at the behind the scenes of my actual YouTube channel, you can see by far my biggest video is one that's got just over 19,000 views and there's 143 comments and there's over a thousand likes on that video. Now, it's the comments and the likes that are telling YouTube, as well as the watch time as well, that are telling YouTube that people are enjoying this video, they are liking it, so the YouTube algorithm will recommend it to more people. So the more likes a video gets, the more it will push out, okay? So if you are enjoying this video, give us a thumbs up because it will help you to push it out more. But that's what's happening on YouTube. And this is exactly the same with Kickstarter because the more people are interacting with your project that's on there, the more 
Kickstarter is going to recommend it. So you're probably thinking, you know, well, I've put my campaign up there and I'm going through that mid part of the campaign and nothing's happening. What you need to do is you need to interact with the people that have backed it to show Kickstarter that, you know, you're part of the community. You know, you're putting the effort and the time back into Kickstarter to do things like do updates. Because when you do an update, people will come in and like it and they will comment on it. So the more people who are commenting on it and liking it, Kickstarter is going to think, wow, okay, so this person's part of the community, the community's interacting him. This is a project that, you know, maybe if we push out to more people, more people will like it. So more people are going to actually see your campaign and more people are going to back it. Now, again, this may be absolute bonkers but i think that's how this is actually working now i'm not saying you need to do an update every single day because all that's going to do is annoy the backers that have backed the campaign already but you know if you do um, an update every you know three to four days i think that is going to let kickstarter know that you're putting the effort in and it's going to trigger the algorithm to show your comic or whatever project you've got on kickstarter to more people and if your community that you've built around that is interacting whether they're sending a message back or giving it a heart i think all that's going to do is push that campaign out further and further now i could be talking absolute rubbish um because this is just a theory but i think this is the reason why my campaign has grown to 260 backers which i'm grateful for thank you so much if you have again link in the description if you know you're watching this in the next couple of weeks but i think that's the reason why this campaign is continuing to grow i'm not waiting to do an update i'm sending information about the comic how the comic was made how we're doing this how we're doing that just to you know build that community within kickstarter and i think that's what's working okay so just wanted to do this video to just give you some ideas you know especially if you've got one running at the moment or you're thinking about running a kickstarter soon is you know do some updates and don't rely on twitter to get your message out there about your comic okay so hopefully that helps hopefully that gave you some ideas and hopefully that wasn't too much of a madman rambling uh, give us a like and i'll see you in the next video cheers bye